Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take this picture that I took that was pretty boring, and I'm going to add boats and a sunset, and I'm going to make it a lot better. So let me show you what I did. First, you can get this picture on my website. I'll leave a link. You can download it and follow along if you want. And the first thing I need to do is pick out boats. So I picked out this one and this one, partly because I like pirate boats and partly because of that white sky. It's going to make it really easy to cut these out. So let me show you how I do that. I could take the selection tool and brush it over and then go back and refine it and get all these little things, but that is a pain, so there's a better way. So we need to open up your channels window here. If you don't have it open, just come to View, Studio, and Channels. Okay. We are going to turn these off where it says composite red, green, blue, and alpha, turn them all off. And then I'm going to open them up one at a time and see which one gives me the most contrast. So it's gonna be close on this picture. The darks and the lights, we're looking for the one where the darks are the darkest and the whites are the whitest. And I think it's gonna be the green. They're so close. We'll go with green, see the darks are darker. Okay, we're gonna further separate them by using a threshold layer. So go to adjustments and threshold. And then we're just going to slide this up. We want to get the water and the boat and all of these black, as black as possible. We can always it's brush the ocean out, which is what we're going to do. It's so much easier to just erase the ocean than it is to try and select all these little teeny ropes. I promise. <laughs> I've tried it. And it's okay if you end up with too much black. You can always brush all this out. Just want to make sure we get as many of these ropes in as we can, and that looks pretty good. So we're going to go with that. There we go. All right, and then we're going to come down here and click on the background, and then go down to Composite Green, the one that we have open, and right-click on it, and click Load to Pixel Selection, and it will load up all those pixels for us. And then we want to click Mask and make a mask out of that. Now you can do control D to get rid of that. And now <clears throat> do control I on the mask to invert it. There we go. And don't forget to come down here. <laughs> Click this little button, the reset button here, and it resets all those. It'll turn your picture back on. All right, so we can see where what it's removed and what it's kept. So we just want to get rid of the ocean or most of it. And so let's get our brush tool. Oh, we've already got it. Make sure you've got black. And make sure you've got a nice big soft round brush. And just brush off all of this. And you can fine tune it later. We're going to copy this with its mask so that if we find something that we goofed up or something that didn't get erased totally, we can always do it in the picture. Because sometimes you don't notice until you start adding things like sunsets and lighting, you know, you start changing things around and then you'll notice a, a straight line. It's because uh, the mask didn't get erased properly and that's okay. Just erase it right there. So we are going to keep a little of this water for now. We might get rid of it later, but there you go. So let's click on this. We don't need the threshold layer anymore. So just right click on it or control C and copy and bring it over here and control V and paste. And there's our boat. Some of this is too blue, but that might not matter. That's why we leave the mask on. All right. Now we're going to put it where we want it. I think I'm going to put it kind of coming in like that. All right. Let's go to the next boat. We're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to turn all these off. Whoops. Maybe. All right, and then I don't think it mattered on this one either. Yeah, they're all really, really the same. We'll just go with blue. <laughs> and then let's get our threshold layer. And this one's going to be a little trickier because of those white sails. But we can go back in and add those if it accidentally deletes them, which it looks like it's going to do. And that's okay. This one's 
Oh, this one's a bit trickier. We'll just leave it like this. Okay, click on our background. Down here to the one we have open, which is blue in this case, and right click on it, load to pixel selection. And then with the background selected up here, click right there on this little square and make your mask. Now you can come over here and we can reset these. We can get rid of, well, first let's do control D. There we go. Get rid of that. And then invert the mask. All right, now let's zoom in for a second. You can see we got rid of our sails, but that's okay. So we're gonna get a brush and when I experimented with this before, the soft brushes make the sails look really funny. So get a hard brush. And they just, when I paste it into the next picture, it had this big, soft, fluffy, furry looking thing. And that's, so make sure you get a hard brush. And in this case, we want white. We want to come over and just brush our sail back in, but we want to make sure we have that hard edge. And this is not easy to do with a mouse. And if you accidentally brush too much in, that's okay. Just change the color to black and brush it back out. There we go. And this little flag, but I think I'm getting too much in here. Because it took out all the white. <laughs> to switch colors, just push the X key. That way you can go back and forth easily. So I'll go back to the white and get all of our little details back in here. All right. So now we're going to switch to the big brush, the big soft brush. That was too big. And... Make sure we've got black. There we go. And we're going to just brush out the ocean here too. And it'll only take a minute. All right. It's good to go around all these edges. I think it may have kept some of them, so we're going to go around there real quick. All right. Whoops. I accidentally unbrushed my boat. There we go. Okay. Now come over here. Click on the background layer and control C to copy and paste. And then click V to get the move tool or click up there on the arrow and put it where you want. We're going to put him right here. Kind of in the background, maybe make it a little smaller. All right, now the next thing we need to do is um, add some shadows. I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow here and a little bit of a shadow here. So on this boat, I'm actually gonna get rid of that water. I don't like it. So get our brush tool back. Just sort of brush because it's a little bluer so it's going to stand out. Actually should have made my brush smaller, huh? Well, we'll switch. It switched it. There we go. To yellow. All right. There we go. Now switch back and shrink our brush a bit. All right. Let me add a few shadows to these boats real quick. Okay, get a new layer, a new pixel layer, and for the color, <coughs> I want like a gray, so 65 will work, somewhere in the middle. I'll make the brush a little bigger, and then I just want to kind of brush a shadow underneath over here, because my light is going to come from right here. You have to decide that too, where you want your light to come from. I want mine to come from this side. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a shadow right there. And change this to multiply. And then you can change the opacity and you can always go back and change it. We're gonna need to name this. Uh, we'll call it the big boat shadow. 
so I know which one it is. All right, let's make another one. And we're going to give a shout out to this guy. He's going to be closer to the light. His shadow needs to kind of just come out like that. Kind of behind him. Now, let's change that to multiply. And change the opacity. And I'm actually going to get rid of some, so I'm going to click E for eraser. And make it smaller. And the opacity is at 38%, which is good. You don't want to erase too much at once. I'm just, yeah. I can always add more again later if I decide to change my mind. But I think I added too much back there. Okay. And we can change those around if we want to later. We'll call this one Small Bolt Shadow. All right. Now we're going to add some sun. And um, this sunset, this is the one I decided to use. I like the clouds in it. I actually got it, I bought it from Jake Olson a long time ago when they were on sale. <laughs> and uh, I got a whole bunch of sunsets from him and they're pretty good. So I can't leave the link to this one, but you can pick any sunset you want. So we're just going to copy it and paste it right in here. Um, normally I would just go up here to file and place and then find it wherever it is on my computer. but. For the sake of time, I just already loaded it up there. All right. And I think what I wanted to do was stretch it like that. All right. Okay. Now we want to make a mask for this layer. And on the mask, we're going to use the gradient tool. So come over here, click the gradient tool, and go from the top to the bottom. And just click here. And click on the little gray circle and then make it black. There we go. Now it's transparent. Now we can move this around and adjust it however we want. So I want to bring it up. Bring this one down. We don't want that to show. But we don't want a hard line there either. We can always use the brush and brush out whatever we don't want. All right, that I think is where we're going to go. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to flip this. We're going to do Control J, make a copy, and we're going to label these. We'll label this one Top Sunset. We'll label this one Bottom Sunset. Bottom sunset. I don't always label my layers. But when I'm using a lot of them, it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, so come up here to arrange and flip vertical. And then drag it down over the water. All right, and we're going to change it to multiply and change the opacity. We'll probably come back and tweak that some more later. But yeah, let's definitely move that down. And for the top, We might change that to multiply. Let's see. Mm, yeah. We can change the opacity later if we want to as well. All right. Now, I want to add some light. Um, this, I'm going to do it in a few different ways. So, I'm going to come over here and click on the ellipse tool. And I'm going to make kind of a big circle right here. Well, ellipse. <laughs> and I want it to be a darker orange. So just I what I did was I used the eyedropper tool and I came over here and I picked an orange from the sunset. And it was already here so I just used it. And now we want to come up here to layer. We want to rasterize it. And then come to the paint mixer brush tool and make our brush a little bigger. And come up here and make sure auto load brush is off. We don't want that checked. And then push the C key to clear your brush. Or you can come up here and click clean brush. And get it, yeah, make sure you have a soft brush. So you make sure the brush is really soft. As soft as I can get. And just sort of spread the light out however you want. You just click and drag. And this way, 
I mean, you could just blur it, but blurring it is very symmetrical. If you want the light to go all across in some spots, but not in others, then this is a good way to do it. And you can even miss the boat, so it's not too colored. We're gonna kind of go around it. If you just click in the color you want and then drag it out, and then you can just use it like paint. We'll put some on the boat, but yeah, we want more down here. And you can always come back and adjust this layer however you want. You can paint more or erase or paint again, just however you want it to look as the picture's going on and on. All right, we're gonna change this to overlay and lower the opacity a bit. Well, a lot. We're gonna lower it to, I don't know, around 40, uh, 36 will work. All right. And now I wanna make a smaller one. So get the ellipse tool again. And I wanna make kind of a smaller one. And this one I want to be yellow, like a brighter, a brighter color. And this one we're gonna go ahead and use the blur tool on. So go to blur and Gaussian blur. And you can slide this all the way up to 100, but if you want more, click in the box and type what you want. We're gonna go 300. We want it to sort of still be there, but not really. <laughs> all right, click apply. And then we're gonna change this to screen. And we're gonna lower the opacity. Not too much. Oops, I accidentally made a new one. Push the V on your keyboard. There you go. So now we can move this light around. We can shrink it, grow it, whatever we want to do with it. I think I'm going to make it smaller. And just put it off to the side. So now you've got more light coming in from the side. All right. Now we are going to do a curve really quick. And what we're going to do with the curve is we're just going to pull the blacks down a little. And we're going to pull the whites up a little. There we go, for the highlights. Okay, so now you can see that there's not a lot of orange over here, but there's more orange over there. So we're gonna come back to this layer. I'm gonna name this one orange light. We're gonna name this one the yellow light so I can remember. So we're gonna come back to the orange light and we're gonna get that paint mixture brush again. And we're just gonna kind of drag it over a little bit more. Just add some more color and maybe touch that boat there. And then I think we're going to lower the opacity a little bit more. We don't want a lot, there we go. Just a little bit of color. All right. Now I wanna add some more lighting. But the first thing, first thing I'm gonna do is come over here to layer, new light filter layer and lighting but I wanna actually just add this to the boat. So let me move it over. It's, it's on the wrong layer, it's on the curves layer. <laughs> we are going to drag it down and put it in our little boat layer. There we go. So it's only on the boat because we know our light's gonna be coming from the side here. So I wanna create a little more shadow on the whole boat, not just on the water. So there we go. Let's zoom in a little so we can see this better. Oh, now our lines are showing up. We'll have to erase those. So that's what we want. We want shadows over here and light over there. All right, we can always come back and adjust those. So now let's go and back into that layer and click on the mask and get our brush tool. Make sure we've got black paint. And erase that line, see? It didn't show up until I put the lighting on there, but now I saw it. That's okay, really easy to get rid of. Oh, there it is up there too. Okay. So now that little boat's got its own light, which will help make it look a little more blended into the picture. This boat's not gonna really need its own lighting because 
it's going to be in a shadow here in a second. So now I want to do the same thing I just did, sort of go layer, new light filter layer, and lighting. But this time, we want it to be on the whole picture. So we'll put it on the very top. And move that out of the way. There we go. And I'm going to spin this around. Grab that, spin it, and then grab this middle dot right here and bring it over to where our light is coming from. There we go. Want it a little bigger. Okay. And now we can adjust it. We can pull it in, have it brighter, or pull it out. We're not so bright, but I want to make it brighter, I think. And maybe even pull these down a little. There we go. Something like that. Just to create these nice shadows over here. And the focus is on this little boat. And his lighting layer kind of got, kind of disappeared a little. So let's go back and adjust it. That is, let's move this. Nope, that was the wrong way. Let's move this back. There we go. Because the shadows sort of disappeared a little, but we want those back. There we go. Definitely need those shadows. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's about all I did. I might come up and adjust the curves layer a little more. There we go. Just to darken the shadows a bit. And you can go back and adjust any of these layers in any way that you want to. I just fine tune your picture however you think it needs to be. So. Let's look at the before. So if you click on the top layer and scroll down and hold the shift key and click on that first boat that we did, then it'll select all the layers in between. Ah, well it's supposed to, but we'll click there. There we go. <laughs> and now you can just click in one box and that's the before and that's the after. So I think the picture turned out a little better, <laughs> a little less boring than it was when I took it. So I hope you found something useful in this video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And thanks for watching.